in two weeks, we are headed two hours to West Virginia to buy ourselves a teardrop camper that we found on Facebook Marketplace for $850. I love it. Because the teardrop camper was handmade, we have so many plans to upgrade it and build it the way we want it to look. So starting right now, we are going to be bringing you through the entire process of purchasing the teardrop camper and what we are going to be doing to upgrade it. So if you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and let's go buy a teardrop camper. Today we are making the two hour journey to go pick up our camper. We're taking this camper on its first ever trip in just about a week and a half and we needed to do a few things right off the bat to make sure that we were prepared and comfortable. Here's what we've done so far. First, we had to get a hitch for our SUV in order to use and pull the trailer. So we ordered it from Amazon, attached it to the car, and all went well. Cool. Next, we had to tackle making sure our SUV could connect to the brake lights in the camper properly. This is the part I wasn't looking forward to because it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, I think, but we'll see what we can do. We got to run a wire from back here to the car battery. Josh is literally like cave crawling right now. All right. It should technically be ready to go. All right, that side worked. Yep, there it goes. It's blinking 14. All right, we're all hooked up. I just have to put everything back together now. Another thing we wanted to get a head start on was making sure we had some sort of power source, especially if we ever wanted to be off grid. We'll go over how we did this more in depth in a future video, but Josh decided to build one rather than opting for something like the Jackery. We also will be installing a hookup in the camper itself. Once we pick up the trailer, we'll either have to take it to get the title and registration if there's a VIN number or if there's not a VIN number on it, then we'll have to take it to the state troopers where they'll weigh it and inspect it and then give us a VIN number. Once we have the title and registration, we can just start upgrading it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. This is our teardrop camper. I'm gonna go over some of the details on the outside. There's not a ton to it, which allows us to have room to do a lot of projects to it in the future. On the right side of the camper, we have just our door and our nice mountain paint job on here. And then on the front side, we have our two inch ball hitch. You saw we attached the hitch to our car, so now we can attach this to our SUV. And then what I love is we do have a wheel on the front, which we can raise up and down, but it allows me to move it by hand a lot easier. So if I wanna to try to push it into our garage, which currently it doesn't fit in our garage because it's too tall. You're good, you're good. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh no, is it stuck? No, it's not stuck. But this just allows me to move it easier without it having to be attached to the car. You can crank up and down to make the whole camper level. And then just your lights and chains. But that's pretty much it to the front. On the other side, we have our big window, which we like. No mountains on this side. And as you can see, like some of the paint, I think one of the tasks we'll want to do is maybe repaint this in the distant future. It has a rubberized paint which protects it from the weather pretty well but I think we might want to do a different color or a new coat on it eventually so that's on our list of things to do to it. On the back side we just have our two lights and that's about it back here. Uh, in the future we'll add like power to it I think maybe a window we have all kinds of ideas that we want to do to it in the future. And that's it for the outside. Not a whole lot going on. Erica will show you what's happening on the inside. Welcome to the inside of our teardrop camper. Like Josh said, there's not a ton going on in the inside, but since we're documenting this whole process of us completely upgrading the entire camper, we figured why not show you what it looked like when we got it so that way when the future comes and we do make updates to it, we can show you a real true before and after. So without further ado, here's the inside. So the inside of the trailer is five foot wide by eight foot long. So that fits just about a queen size mattress with a little bit of room on the end. What about a foot? About a foot on lengthwise, yeah. On the inside, obviously you saw the windows from the outside, but there's a window on the left side of the camper and on the right side of the camper on the door. Currently there's this shelf in here um, that we'll probably remove because 
We have other plans to kind of make our own shelving system in here. For now, we're thinking about what type of lights we're going to be getting. And then eventually we also are going to want to sand the inside down and repaint the inside as well because it's just not not as slick as we want it to look on the inside. So the next thing we're going to be getting is a couch bed for this. A couple more things. So both of these windows do have the ability to open up into a screen. Last time I did this, I didn't do this right. They're just not a little. Oh, the window is open. The screen is letting air come through, which is going to be super key during the summer hot months. Um, for now, we're gonna be camping in the cold, so we don't need to do that unless we want some airflow. And then these blinds we will probably replace right now. This is nice just because for privacy purposes, but we'll probably take this off and do some sort of actual like camper blinds. This is how far up I can stand, which honestly, it's just another head. If you move forward, you might be able to stand up half an inch more. <laughs> yeah, may actually a little bit more. So I can pretty much almost fully stand up in here, which is super nice because as you've seen from our previous videos, I get a little claustrophobic when we're sleeping in our SUV at night. It's 12.30 in the morning. I got so claustrophobic. Having this much headroom is so key for me to get a good night's sleep while we're camping. So love that. And then finally, these floors, um, the old owners redid. So these are just vinyl flooring. We're probably just going to keep this as is. So luckily it does lock from the inside as well, which up top. I know, but I tried to do this earlier and it doesn't actually. Well, it's not closed all the way. So if it doesn't work great, well, that'll be one thing to replace in the future. It like is so hard. It does not go in. <laughs> You're supposed to block here but it's just like, just barely fitting and I'm not gonna be able to get into the hole. So it was a good thought for sure. Now that we have given you the unclean, raw tour of the camper, it is now time to get to work, clean it out and hook up the power. Since we just had to drill a hole through in order to get our hookup power situation set up, we just found out there's insulation. Oh look, there's insulation. We don't even need to insulate it. a dead spider. Oh my gosh, that scared the heck out of me. I hope there's no bugs in here. Ooh, I know there's spider webs. I think these are the lights. They are. Lights here and then the couch bed is sitting right on our porch. I'm so excited to put these in there. room back here we put the lights in the trailer today and the bed slash couch in the trailer today but it was bright out so we couldn't tell how bright the lights would be or how cozy it's gonna be in there so it's dark now so let's <laughs> let's test this <laughs> turn on the light okay ready this is oh, the lowest nice. setting All right, oh that's wait. pretty good Put on the brightest setting. Should we change the color? Wait, what Alright, that's second. And that's the Whoa, third. Whoa, no, that's, that's perfect. perfect. That's pretty bright. If, point yours up at like the ceiling so that it kind of balances off. Josh, How this is you? a camper. We officially have a camper. A warm glow. 
It's not bad. When I like the warm glow. <sighs> it is cold this though. Is We're gonna so need a cozy. lot of blankets. Stark white. I don't like that. That's not cozy at all. I love it. I love it. I think it'll work well. We are planning on getting a really small like desk heater basically. The max my little portable power station can output is 500 watts currently. Can be upgraded in the future. But that can handle like, I'd say like 80 to 90% of things. But when it comes to heating things like boiling water or just space heaters, they take so much power to warm up the area. So we found a little, little one. It's like the size of my fist, I think. And it's only a 200 watt one. But I also wanted to mention that everything that you see that we've purchased for this camper will be linked in the description from this point on including the elements of the battery anything we purchased like these lights this couch bed everything will be linked we are officially taking this guy in what is it sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday four days on our five day road trip we will see you next week when we post our first part of our five day road trip bye <laughs>